Ricky Gervais. Hello, hello and welcome to the 67th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Um, thank you. You, uh, you probably know me as the creator of The Office. <laughs> no, you don't, do you? You think Steve Carell did it all? Oh, oh, he's brilliant, isn't he, Steve Carell? <laughs> he's amazing as the bumbling office manager. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> Let's pay him. <laughs> Let's pay him hundreds of millions of dollars and put him in every movie. If you can't be bothered to go to the cinema to see Steve in action, then um, just watch him every Thursday here on NBC. <laughs> or if you think that particular version of the show has jumped the shark a little bit, um, <laughs> this is what some of the forums are saying, then um, watch the original Fridays <laughs> on Adult Swim. <laughs> or get the box set, that's still available. So. Um, <laughs> Just, just, just 12 episodes in a special. Quality, not quantity, that's what, that's what counts. I, uh, so, uh, go and get that. Um, I will be making the most of this opportunity. I'm not used to these sort of viewing figures. <laughs> Let's face it, nor is NBC. So, <laughs> on a serious note, just looking at all the faces here reminds me of some of the great work that's been done this year by cosmetic surgeons. Um, <laughs> you all look great. I've had a little bit of work done. I've had cheek implants. Uh, they put them there, which is annoying. <laughs> and I, uh, I've had a penis reduction. <laughs> Just got the one now. That's enough. Uh, and, and it is very tiny. <laughs> But so are my hands, so when I'm holding it, it looks pretty big. <laughs> and let's face it, I usually am holding it. Um, <laughs> I wish I was doing that now instead of this, to be honest. But let's... <laughs> it is an honour to be here um, in a room full of what I consider to be the most important people on the planet. Actors. <laughs> they're, just, they're just better than ordinary people, aren't they? That's, no, they're, 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 we all know that. Um, imagine a world without actors. Oh, God, it doesn't bear thinking about it. Imagine if they ever went on strike. Oh, what would we do? You couldn't replace them. You couldn't replace them with any other profession, lawyers or doctors. Can you imagine a real surgeon doing what Hugh Laurie does in-house? It would be pathetic. <laughs> He'd be all over the place. He'd be going, oh, where do I stand? How's my American accent? What, what's my lines? You know, Hugh with the aid of coaches that can eventually learn his lines while saving lives. He's a genius. <laughs> How could you replace Kiefer Sutherland in 24? I'd love to see a real anti-terrorist agent trying to defuse a bomb in a busy train station in one hour. <laughs> Some of those scenes, by the way, where Kiefer grabs someone and beats them to a pulp, they weren't even in the script. Um, <laughs> The director just said, keep rolling, we'll work it into them. <laughs> but actors aren't just loved here in Hollywood, they are loved the world over, because they're recognisable. You can be anywhere. You could be in the third world, OK, and you get a glimpse of a Hollywood star, and it makes you feel better, OK? You could be a little, a little child, a little Asian child, with no possessions and no money, but you, get a, you see a picture of Angelina Jolie, and you think, oh, Mummy! <laughs> Oh, thank you. Let's get on with it before NBC replace me with Jay Leno. Um, <laughs> thank you. Hello. And hello. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. It's going to be a night of partying and heavy drinking. Or, as Charlie Sheen calls it, breakfast. <laughs> wow. Whoa. So, let's get this straight. What he did was, he, uh, he picked up a porn star, um, paid her to have dinner with him, uh, introduced her to his ex-wife, as you do, uh, <laughs> uh, went to a hotel, uh, got, got drunk, got naked, 
trashed the place while she was locked in a cupboard. And uh, <laughs> that was a Monday. <laughs> what, what did he do New Year's Eve? <laughs> anyway, welcome. The Golden Globes is a celebration of the best in TV and movies over the last year, voted for by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. It was a big year for 3D movies, Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. Um, <laughs> I, I feel bad about that joke. I, no, no, I'll tell you why. I'm jumping on the bandwagon, because I haven't even seen The Tourist. <laughs> Who has? Um, but, no, it must be good, because it's nominated. So shut up, OK? <laughs> And I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going round that the only reason The Tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> no. All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. <laughs> there were a lot of big films that didn't get nominated this year. Nothing for Sex in the City 2. Um, no, I was sure the Golden Globe for special effects would go to the team that airbrushed that poster. Um, <laughs> well, great job. Girls, we know how old you are. <laughs> I saw one of you in an episode of Bonanza, Christ's <laughs> sake. Also not nominated, I love you, Philip Morris, um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist, then. Um, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Probably. My lawyers helped me with the wording of that joke. <laughs> They're not here. OK. <laughs> There's been some great new TV drama this year, like Boardwalk Empire and The Walking Dead. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Talking of The Walking Dead, congratulations to Hugh Hefner, who, uh, who's getting married at the age of 84 to 24-year-old beauty, Crystal Harris. Um, when she was asked why she was marrying him, she said, because he lied about his age. <laughs> he told me he was 94. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, don't worry. Hold out and just, just don't look at it when you touch it. That's <laughs> done. I warned them. Um, one of the biggest events in TV this year was the finale of Lost, one of my favourites, and uh, all the questions were answered, yeah. Um, I have to say, though, it was quite a complicated finale. I'm not sure I totally understood it all, but from what I can make out, I'm pretty sure the fat one ate them all. Uh, I, I think... Should we get on with it? So, where was I? Um, <laughs> nervous? Don't be. This isn't about you. Right. Hello, I'm Ricky Gervais, and welcome to the 69th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. <laughs> Voted for by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Tonight, you get Britain's biggest comedian hosting the world's second biggest award show, on America's third biggest network. <laughs> so, is it? It's four. It's four. <laughs> For any of you who don't know, the Golden Globes are just like the Oscars, but without all that esteem. Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton, basically. <laughs> what? 
bit louder, bit trashier, bit drunker, and more easily bought. Um, allegedly, nothing's been proved. But <laughs> who needs the Oscars? Not me, and not Eddie Murphy. He walked out on them. He said no, and good for him. But when the man who said yes to Norbit says no to you, <laughs> you know you're in trouble. I love Eddie Murphy. He loves dressing up, doesn't he? Um, versatile. He's versatile. No, he is. Bit of trivia for you, actually. Eddie Murphy and Adam Sandler, between them, played all the parts in the movie The Help. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> they were brilliant. I can't believe they're not here. Or maybe they are. They're masters of disguise. They could be... <clears throat> now, the Hollywood Foreign Press have warned me that if I insult any of you or any of them or offend any viewers or cause any controversy whatsoever, they'll definitely invite me back next year as well. <laughs> they actually gave me a list of rules. I'm going to ignore them, but I thought it'd be good to read them out, OK? This is real, OK? No profanity. That's fine. I've got a huge vocabulary. <laughs> no nudity. See, that's a shame, because I've got a huge... <laughs> vocabulary. Um, but a tiny penis. No, no, it's true. Doesn't matter. I don't care. It works. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't... I don't... No smut or innuendo. And I'm not to libel anyone. <laughs> and I mustn't mention Mel Gibson this year. Uh, <laughs> Not his private life, his politics, his recent films, and especially not Jodie Foster's Beaver. Um, I haven't seen it myself. Um, I've spoken to a lot of guys here, they haven't seen it either, but that doesn't mean it's not any good. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't care. Um, it's been an amazing year in show business. It's not all been good news. What's with all the divorces? What's going on? I mean, Arnold and Maria, J-Lo and Mark Antony, Ashton and Demi, Kim Kardashian and some guy no one will ever remember. He wasn't, he wasn't around long. 72 days. A marriage that lasted 72 days. I've sat through longer James Cameron acceptance speeches <laughs> than that. Other celebrity scandal. Justin Bieber nearly had to take a paternity test. <laughs> what a waste of a test that would have been. <laughs> no, he's not the father. The only way that he could have impregnated a girl was if he'd borrowed one of Martha Stewart's old turkey basters. <laughs> Open wide. Um, it's been a, a big year for women in film. Bridesmaids, one of my favourite comedies of the year, yeah. <laughs> The girls finally proved that they can be as raunchy as the men. Farting, burping, cursing, performing wild sex acts, even pooping in the sink. I, I actually heard for a search the cast spent the weekend with Dame Helen Mirren. She's dreadful, honestly. You don't, you don't see a lot of it because she's got good PR, but she's off the rails. But the Golden Globes aren't just about movies. It also celebrates the best in TV as well. New shows like The Amazing Homeland, which is just... In it's amazing. And returning shows like Boardwalk Empire. Um, I love that show. It's great. Um, it's... For those who don't know, it's about a load of immigrants who came to America about 100 years ago, and they got involved in bribery and corruption, and they worked their way up into high society. But enough about the Hollywood foreign press. <laughs> I'm joking. I love them. And they're good sports for inviting me back. And what I didn't know, they do an awful lot for charity and they're non-profit organisation, just like NBC. So, thank... <laughs> Should we get on with it? Shut up! You... disgusting, pill-popping, sexual deviant scum. I want to do this monologue and then go into hiding. OK? Not even Sean Penn will find me. <laughs> Snitch. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards. Live... 
from the Beverly Hilton Hotel. With all these rich, beautiful celebrities having the time of their lives. Let's hope no one spoils that. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, I'm gonna try and be nice. You're global megastars with amazing talent, most of you. A few of you just married well. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> we, we all do, we all do. <laughs> We're live on NBC and it's right that NBC hosts this award show because they're the only network who are truly fair and impartial. And that's because they're the only network with zero nominations. <laughs> so... <laughs> nothing in it for them tonight. They don't care who... They don't care, obviously. <laughs> but as I say, I'm gonna be nice tonight. I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <laughs> now Caitlyn Jenner. Of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> you can't have everything, can you? Not at the same time. Anyway, so <laughs> I am going to be nice tonight, and I'll tell you why. The president of the Hollywood Foreign Press just told me that if I say anything offensive or crass or resort to innuendo, he is going to come out here and personally pull me off. So that's an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the level. An old man pulling me off. <laughs> Again. Um, one Hollywood publication said that me hosting would mean that some film stars would stay away for fear of being made fun of. As if film stars would stay away from the chance of winning a Golden Globe. Particularly if their film company has already paid for it. So what's happened this last year in this crazy business we called show? The excellent Spotlight has been nominated. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the Catholic Church are furious about the film as it exposes the fact that 5% of all their priests have repeatedly molested children and been allowed to continue to work without punishment. Roman Polanski called it the best date movie ever. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from people everywhere. There were marches on the street with nurses and factory workers saying, how the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? This is... <laughs> there were plumbers around the world going, poor girl in town, what's lucky now? So, but joking aside, of course women should be the, paid the same as men for doing the same job. And I'd like to say now that I'm getting paid exactly the same as Tina and Amy did last year for hosting this. No, I know there was two of them, but it's not my fault if they want to share the money, is it? That's, that's their stupid fault. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> the Hollywood Foreign Press deemed The Martian a comedy and even nominated it. And hence, Matt Damon is here tonight, so that worked a treat, didn't it? <laughs> to be fair, The Martian was a lot funnier than Pixels. Uh, <laughs> but then again, so was Schindler's List. <laughs> it's just a film. <laughs> All female remakes are the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios because they get guaranteed box office results and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So... <laughs> Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> Listen, if you do win tonight, remember that no one cares about that award as much as you do, OK? <laughs> Don't get emotional, it's embarrassing, okay? 
That award is, no offence, worthless. <laughs> it's a bit of metal that some nice old confused journalists wanted to give you in person so they could meet you and have a selfie with you. OK? That's all it is. I've got three. I've got three Golden Globes myself, so I can say... One's a doorstop, <laughs> one I used to hit burglars with, and one I keep by the bed to... Doesn't matter why, it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. I won it fair and square. It's just the right shape and size. It's nothing... <laughs> yeah, so to be clear, that was a joke about me shoving Golden Globes. That I've won up my ass. <laughs> and they asked me to host. Four times! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs>